What's going on YouTube? My name is Machines, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the Ranked Double Ladder once again with this Glaceon team. So if you guys are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. This team was actually built by Vichy. If you guys do not know who Vichy is, he plays top 16 in Dallas Regional Tournament. Link to all of his socials will be in the description below. This team is phenomenal. Rocking in the front spot here is this Draco Fish, and everyone knows, dude, the Draco Fish is just gonna roll out with the Whimsicott. Easy wins with that play. But mainly here, the Pokemon I wanna show off is the Glaceon here, because I haven't showed him off on the channel yet. It has Never Melt Ice, which will actually boost the Ice type moves to do more damage with Ice Beam and Freeze Dry. Freeze Dry is gonna rock out against Water Pokemon, so if they wanna go after that, we'll just hit him with a Freeze Dry and just dump on him. We also have this Duraludon as a big damage Pokemon with the Life Form. Whimsicott set up with the Tailwind. Togekiss weakness policy with that awesome move set that usually rocks out and the Haxorus right here with that mole breaker and the white herb with a lot of coverage moves but guys you like to use this team for yourself front the code is at the bottom of the screen I highly recommend trying it out and if you do use it let me know in the comment section down below how you do with it also let me know for question of the day what other games do you guys like besides Pokemon like I love all different Nintendo titles like I love Mario I love Legend of Zelda obviously Pokemon but that's not in this question and I really do like the Pikmin series too they're all good so I want to know your guys' opinions on other games but guys, let's hop into the rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this Glaceon team. Going up against a Charizard team in the first battle. Do I see him leading the Milotic? He might lead the Milotic, thinking we're going to go Fish. I'm going to stay with the Fish. I'm going to go Fish, Whimsicott in the front end, go Glaceon in the back, and then probably Duraludon in the final spot because he's Life Orb and he can do some work. Or I could bring that Togekiss, Weakness Policy. That could be big. Especially against that Bisharp. Oh, yes. And up against that... um. Extra drill? Yeah. I think we're chilling with that Heat Wave can do some work. With that Milotic too. With that Milo or not the Milotic. The Wimps got I can do work on. Why did I say Milotic? Heat Wave does nothing against Milotic. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out. We push the ladder and we do viewer battles over there. Well, let's go, dude. I'm hyped to show off this Glaceon, but we got we have the fish, and everyone knows we're gonna lead the fish. Oh, nice lead by us. He's probably gonna swap. He's gonna swap here. We're gonna go into Tailwind into uh Okay, I went into Fish's Ren and just dump on that Charizard. <laughs> if that Charizard's staying in, he's gone. He's gone. Fish's Ren over. I'm not even going to hesitate for this one. I'm not even going to hesitate. Like, it's like, come on. It's like, that is the play. That is the play. He might swap out. There's the swap. That's fine by me. We can force Fish's Ren. Milotic's going to pop out here. I'll switch my Milotic out after this, which is chilling. Oh, not my Milotic. My Drink of Fish. And I can go into my Glaceon and potentially get a Freeze Dry up. That, that, is, that would be nice. That would be nice. And we can do work up against the Whimsicott too. But the Taunt's going to pop here. That's totally fine by me. We already have the Tailwind up. And we're going to outspeed for the next turn. Vicious Friend. Yeah, yeah. How much damage are we going to do against this thing? Wow. Do we even pull this thing out? Do we even pull out the Draco Fish? <laughs> He's a beast. He's an absolute beast. Oh, uh, we're going to outspeed. I'm going to go here. I mean, you know what? No, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go here. Uh, I'm going to taunt you actually. Oh, I'm already taunted. Dang it. Okay, we'll just Moon Blast. We're going to Moon Blast into the Wind Sky, and we're going to Fish this man over back on the Milotic. That did some damage. That did some damage. That Milotic is gone. I don't know. Like, I think that's his last ditch effort here, just to keep the Milotic in. Because my Draco Fish is going to outspeed it and take it out. That does some damage. Up against a Water Pokemon? Like, come on. Get out my face. I kind of need that Fish for the uh, Charizard. So, I'm going to hold on to him. I might swap out after this. Depending on what Pokemon he does throw in. My Fish can just run things right now. He's just on the board. He is just on the board, but I, I would love to Dynamax that Glacier and get him all in here. Dude, Draco Fish, are you serious? Too easy. Charizard comes out. Okay, I'm done with you, Charizard. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He's going. He's going. Get him. Tell him to go home. Vicious Ren, we're going to go into another Moon Blast over on the, what's it called? Over on the Wimscott. We should out, oh, are we going to outspeed the Charizard? Huh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. This is going to be the problem. Do we outspeed the Charizard? I think my Glaceon would outspeed the Charizard. Because Glaceon's faster than my uh, Draco Fish. I was playing around with this team. I did one battle. I just swept with the Draco Fish Glaceon combo. <laughs> I went in with my Whimsicott. Did some work with my Fishes Ren. Whimsicott went out. And then I just dropped in with a uh, Dynamax Glaceon. And this ran it. Let's go. Moonblast is popping. You're going to outspeed me. Wow. Don't you dare take me out. Okay, we eat that. We eat that though. <laughs> Fishes Ren or our Moonblast coming out. Who's faster? This is going to be the deciding factor. This is going to be a big part of the game. Who is faster? If my Draco Fish is faster, he's going to take him out. Ooh. Wildfire. Go on my Whimsicott. 
Okay, dude, we chillin', we chillin'. Draco fish will take it out. We can say bye to my Whimsicott, because the flames are gonna burn us up. We're chillin' though, we are chillin'. Focus Hash pops, we're all surrounded. This is right, yay! <laughs> Yo, dude, this guy is probably so mad, just threw his control at the wall. He's not having it today. <laughs> He's not having it, we're dominating him. Now we're gonna pop out into a Glaceon, Dynamax it, and just end this match. This game's over. He's probably gonna cancel this battle, to be honest. He's probably gonna cancel the battle, to be honest. We still had our Togekiss in the back. I thought we had a Doral down for a second, but I do remember we switched to the Togekiss at the last second. But, like, still, like, come on. Easy wins, baby. Easy wins. Glaceon's gonna get out here. Gonna go do some work. We're gonna Dynamax it, go into a Max Hailstorm. Probably take out the Wimscott with a Fishes Ren and do some work with the Max Hailstorm on you. Other Pokemon he throws out? I wonder who it is, though. I do wonder who it is. Dude, why is it just showing fish like this? Did this guy quit? I was wondering, was it lagging? Because it was just staying on the fish the whole time. <laughs> who is this Pokemon? The last Pokemon is this Sylveon. Oh, bye-bye, Sylveon. You gone. You out of here. Fish is running, rolling over to you. And my Glaceon's getting that Dynamax. Give me that Hailstorm, though. This one's 130. We're going after you. It's the Whimscott. Eh, I don't really care. <laughs> my Glaceon is faster than the Draco fish. Which is nice, which is nice. This Glaceon is rather speedy. This is a rather speedy Glaceon with a Nevermelt Ice, so it can do more damage with the Ice moves, and just roll out. Like, this game is over. This game is over. Glaceon's coming in here just to finish off, drop a nice, giant block of ice on this Sylveon. Letting Sylveon know that Glaceon is the better EV version. Glaceon's awesome. I love Glaceon and, uh, what's it called? They're my two favorite. Glaceon and Leafeon. They're my two favorite, uh, EV Lucians. I think they're the coolest. Oh, you don't even take out my fish! I'm gonna have to take out my fish. And what's it called? It's gonna take it out. My Hailstorm, unless this thing goes into a Hyper Voice. How much damage are we doing? Beep! Nice little damage there. But my fish does survive, and he's gonna be able to take out the Wimscott. That's awesome. That's cool. This thing is rocking a berry. What berry? Is that a citrus? That's gotta be a citrus, right? A little bit of below half health. Yep, citrus berry action. Comes out. Fish is We'll take out the Wimscott. Bye bye, buddy. Beep! <laughs> it's just too good. This team is so good. This team is so good. The Invisco Fire is not even going to do anything to us. Eat up. We eat up all day. But he is going to drop our special attack. Um, But we're chilling. We're chilling. We're going to throw out the Togekiss. Togekiss is going to roll out here. Throw a little bit of uh, Air Slash. Or uh, what is it? Dazzling Gleam? No, Air Slash. We can't throw a Dazzling Gleam on that thing. What do you mean? And the Hailstorm should be able to finish this off. Hailstorm probably won't finish it off, actually, because we are minus one special attack. But the double attack with this team is going to finish it off. Wonderful, dude. 1-0 with this team. 1-0. Coming in strong. Coming in hot early on. Let's go. Hmm. I'll just air slash it. Stab. Potentially get that flinch. That Sylveon might be faster than me. It's not faster than my Glaceon. I highly doubt it's faster than my Glaceon. Unless it goes for a quick attack. Oh, it is faster. Wow. That thing's speedy, too. Never mind. Air slash. Yes, sir. Go. Oh, max Hailstorm. For the win. Let's get it, guys. Glaceon coming in. Hot in the end, but you guys already know who MVP of that match is. The Fish Boy. The Fish Boy is definitely MVP for that match. <laughs> GG to this guy, though. We'll go 1-0 and so far, and we'll hop into battle number 2 and see if we can dominate once again. We got the double Draco Fish going in here. A little mirror matchup in the second battle for this video. Um, who are we going to go into? Do I bring the Fish? Do I even bring the Fish? I think the Fish could be good in the back end. I said we go Whimsicott, maybe Glaceon for the lead? And bring that to Roudon in the back? Could be good. That could be strong. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I think we are going to go for that. I think that's the plan. We're going to go Whimscott, get that speed rolling. Does he have a Whimscott of his own? Let me check. He does not. He does not have any speed going with him. So our Whimscott is going to be clutch here if we can pull off some Tailwinds. I wonder, like, he's going to probably try to set up some Reflex. It's obvious. Um, we might want to get the snow going. Not the snow, the hail. We're going to be bringing Draco Fish in the back and then the Raladon in the final spot. Yeah, that's the call. That's going to be the call. And Haxorus is good. He has that coverage, which is nice, but... I don't think we need him. I really don't think we need him. Maybe we should have let it the on over to Glaceon and had the Glaceon in the back. Now, the fish is nice in the back. We could Dynamax the Glaceon right off the Rippo. Ooh-wee. That could be type nice. We do have Freeze Dry on it, but that's only good for water Pokemon. He does not have water. But I want to get the hail going because we have Snow Cloak. That will raise our evasiveness in the snow. We could possibly dodge some attacks. Not the snow. Why do I keep saying the snow? It is the hail. Come on, Jeans. You're better than that. You're better than that. <laughs> Let's go. What's he going to do? Grimstar with the Route on. Kind of obvious call. Kind of obvious. He might, I think he's going to Dynamax. I'm going to set up the Tailwind. He might go into a Max Steel Spike on me. I'm going to set up probably the Light Screen. Go into a Steel Spike. Let's see. Tailwind's the call. Tailwind is 100% the call. We got to get that speed advantage on him. 
I'm, I'm gonna go right off the bat. I'm gonna throw this one right into this Duraldon. We're gonna throw it right into this Duraldon. Stab ice with that uh, never melting ice. We get the hail going. We get the hail rolling, baby. Ooh wee, ooh wee. Right, come on, come on. Yo, I always love, I always love like how the Pokeballs look. Like I want to get like metal replicas of like the original four Pokeballs. You got the Pokeball, the Great Ball, the Ultra Ball, and the Master Ball. Like I would want that so bad. And I like collecting things. I really do, and I think I need that for my collection. Just metal replicas of the Pokeballs. They look dope. He's gonna Dynamax his Duraludon. There's no way you're Dynamaxing a Grimstar. Oh, if you Dynamax Grimstar, I will quit this match. That is on me. I will say it right now. Okay. <laughs> I was honestly gonna quit the match if he was gone. If he Dynamax, that would have been hilarious. If he Dynamax a Grimstar, I would have just think I would have turned it off for you guys. <laughs> that would have been so funny. I would that that would have been something I never seen before. But he does get the fake out. Blah, blah, blah. Is he gonna double into my whimsy? I think he's doubling into my whims. Which would be smart. He's trying to get that uh, what's called out of the way. Get this hailstorm on him. A decent amount of damage. We can double into the round on next turn. But he is going to take out my whimsicott. That is an obvious play. To neglect the tailwind. But bye, whimsicott. Thanks for coming, buddy. That's actually fine. That's fine by me. We could go in with fish. We're going to need somebody that we know is going to outspeed the Duraludon. But I could totally see him going into a guard. Do we think he's going into the guard? Do I make that read? Do I make that read right now? I honestly think I make the read. Do I go in with a Duraludon on my own? Or do I go in with fish? Hmm. I kind of want to save the fish for the back end. Go in with the Duraludon on my own. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say he goes for that max guard. I think he's gonna guard. I think he is going to guard. We're gonna go after his Grimstar. I'm gonna flash cannon into the snarl. I'm gonna drop a hailstorm. I mean, do I drop a hailstorm on the Duraldon just in case? Because I think my Duraldon will still take out this Grimstar no matter what. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Life orb stab super effective. Let's see if I was correct. Is he going for the guard? Like I hope not now, now that I'm putting a max hailstorm on him. Let's see. He goes for the Reflect, which is not smart. These are both special attacking moves. Let's see what happens. He does not go for the Guard. That is, that's good for us. Flash Cannon's going to pop. I think we should be able to take here. Yep, like I said, that's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Grimstarl's down. Down for the count. Ooh, Glaceon. Come on, Glaceon. I'm loving Glaceon right now. I'm loving her. The Max Hailstorm, this should not take out. But it's going to bring him down pretty low. Go for a Steel Spike. Into my Glaceon? Yeah. Glaceon. Ooh, super effective. We do survive, though. We do survive, though. Maybe I should have went for the guard. Maybe I should have went for the guard. But I know we outspeed. I know we do outspeed. And I'm going to go after the Duraldon with my Duraldon and drop another Hailstorm on whatever Pokemon he has. He could go for a Protect with his. With his Inhaler. Somebody had that name in one of my streams. They named the Duraldon Inhaler, and now I cannot see, unsee it. Like, Duraldon is legit an Inhaler. He looks exactly like it, but like from the back. Like, that top part on his head is the button you push down to, put, to release the air into your mouth. Like, this is just hilarious. That was a great name. That was a great name. Come on, send out your Pokemon. Like, who are you going with? Who are you going with, my man? Then who do we roll out in the back? I always forget who we roll out. Ooh, it goes with T-Tar. A little bit of T-Tar action. It goes with a T-Tar. My... Is Ice super effective to that thing? Oh, he takes away my hail. You little biscuit. Little biscuit. I should still be faster. Let's go for Flash Cannon. I really just want to take out this Duraldon. And go into a Glaceon Max Hailstorm. Over on you. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. He's gonna go for the guard. I've been predicting the guard like the past three turns. But no, it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Maybe he's just not a max guard kind of guy. Maybe he just sees that as a waste. I know some people are like that. They're just like, nah, dude, max guard's a waste. Like, what you mean? It can come up so big when you read they're doubling into you. Like, come on, get out of my face. <laughs> he's not going into guard. He's not, I told you, he's not a guard guy. He's not a guard kind of guy. So, max hailstorm's gonna pop out here. We're gonna change the sand stream. I want it out of here. I want it out of here. I want it going. Get out of here, kid. <laughs> but it's gone. Hail's popping once again. I think this one's gonna be close. I think this one is gonna be close. He's gonna take out my Glaceon. Glaceon's gone. Let me get the hail. And their defense is boosted. Their defense is boosted. Hmm. Okay, okay, I see you. 
It comes down, is it a 2v2? Does he have two in the back? Does he have an extra one in the back, or, the, or is this his last two? Let's see, let's see. They're out on, oh, superpower. That's gonna take us out. Oh, no! Wow, dude, superpower T-Tar. That was big play for him. Honestly, big play for him. We have one Pokemon left. We do have one Pokemon. Oh, my lord. We have one Pokemon left. The Roudon gets buffeted by the hail. Uh, Buffets come out from the T-Tar. No, oh, this is crazy. That was a big play by him. And you know who's in the back, baby. You know who's in the back. We got the Draco Fish. Draco Fish will outspeed. Um, hmm. I gotta look at stats. Who should I take out here? Like, I get that the Duraldon might go down in the buff. He has three left. Okay. Let me see the stats. His attack's down one. I can see he's eating up a shot from that. Um, the Raladon. I think I gotta take out the Duraldon here. He probably has a, he has a dragon move. He's gonna take me out. Vicious Ren's coming on that Duraldon. Wait a minute. Let me see his team. Is the water move safe to go into? Yes. Water move is 100% safe. Unless he has... <sighs> Okay, yeah, we're going fishes right here. Into the Duraldon. We should be able to take out here. Protect. T-Tar protects. Ooh. Let's go. That's big for us. That is big for us. He thinks we're going into the T-Tar. Nah, we're going into that Duraldon. Let's go. That could be huge for us. It could be so big because we, we're going to have first turn advantage probably. So we can take out the T-Tar here if we have to. Or we can keep him alive. He is minus one on the attack board, which is big, which is big. But do we see his other Pokemon going for the Protect? I know that the Tyrantar cannot go for the Protect. Well, I mean, he can. Oh, it's the fish. Hmm. I'm going after the fish. Do we outspeed? <laughs> Who's outspeeding who? Ah. Uh, I'm going after the fish here. He has Dragon Rush out and he outspeeds us. That's game. No! No! Draco Fish, no! GG, he had a Draco Fish. That was like the last Pokemon. I was like, dude, please don't let it be the Draco Fish. That's the only thing to take out my Draco Fish. But GG to that guy. Let's hop into battle number three and get one last battle going for this video. Going up against a Trick Room team in the third and final battle. Once again, like obviously, you could have told me that at the beginning of the video that, that one of these battles are going to be a Trick Room team. I would have believed you because this is crazy. The meta is annoying. But... If you guys are here, give me a little bit of hashtag not we're not gonna put third battle squad. Hashtag third I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something because I don't want to keep it the same thing because I feel like people are just gonna like say it and they're not sticking around. <laughs> give me a little bit of hashtag um Hmm. Hmm, I don't know what to do, but we're gonna go with Jacob Fish. I'll think of something. Give me a second. Give me just a second. Give me just a second. Hashtag Glaceon Squad. How about that? Hashtag Glaceon Squad instead of third battle squad. Who are we going to go into, though? I'm 10 seconds. Overthinking everything. Haxorus and Glaceon. Haxorus, Glaceon. Let's get it, guys. Let's go. Yeah. Hashtag Glaceon Squad in the comment section down below if you are hanging out with me in the third battle. Like I said, I don't want to keep it the same because I feel like people might just click on there, scroll down a little bit, type in third battle squad. It was just like, bro, you're not third battle squad if you don't hang out here. <laughs> But so I'm going to be trying to change it up every here and there. We'll see. The T-Tar does cops. Um, I went and win my fish, right? Right off the rip. I'm going to fish this run, that thing. I am going to fish this run. I'm going to taunt the... The Clops. I'm going to taunt the Clops. Do I see an ally switch? Do we? Do I see an ally switch? The pressure is coming from the Dust Cops. Bum, 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 bum. Mm. I'm gonna. T I am still gonna taunt this thing. Now I'm gonna go fish this friend. I'm gonna play this one just uh, simple. I'm gonna play it simple here. But I could see now I switch. I'm kind of gonna be mad when he does do it because now I know he's gonna do it. Usually once I click my moves, I second guess myself. <laughs> but watch, he's gonna do it. Hopefully the simple play just works. Most of the time, the simple play does work. Like most people, including myself, like they'll lose the match because they overthink. Like that's me. Like I overthink things. But see, like look, that simple play is huge. That simple play is huge. We taunt that. No trick room. Fish this friend dumps on the T-Tar. Go on. It's just gone. <laughs> Simple plays usually win the matches. No trick room. Wonderful. Wonderful. Dude, I've been getting so much better like at ranked battles, and it's awesome. I'm like glad to see that I can actually like hold win streaks now and all that good stuff. It's just it's just a good feeling. But like when I started off doing competitive battles in Sword and Shield, I was just like I can win like one, then I'll lose two, maybe get a two win streak if I'm lucky, but now I'm like popping off with six win streaks, doing some work. 
Like, my stream today, I went on, I lost, like, the first two warming up, and then it was just, like, went on three-game win streak, lost one, four-game win streak, lost one, maybe lost two in a row, and then I went on a five or six. We were just banking out. Um, double Trick Room Pokemon. I'm a tail, no, I'm a not tailwind. I'm not gonna tailwind. I'm gonna also taunt the Hatterene. I'm gonna taunt the Hatterene and go into a Fish's Ren over on the Hatterene. I'm gonna double into this Hatterene. I do some work. Does taunt actually work on Hatterene? Let's see. He's gonna witch all the dust cops. That's huge for us. Good thing we did double into the Hatterene. Mimikyu's popping. That's chilling. That thing's shiny. Has that little dark tint to it. I like it. I don't really like it too, too much. But the Dynamax Hatterene's coming in here. The taunt's gonna do nothing. The taunt is gonna do nothing. Unless it's a Max Guardian. Does that, does that work? Can you taunt something and have it not be able to max guard? Possible. It's possible. Hey, this thing is probably rocking mystical fire, so I gotta watch out with my Glaceon. Because it, it will turn into a max flare. He is guard. He is guard. Okay, so it's just a it's just a nothing turn. It's just a nothing turn. I am gonna set up the tailwind now. I am gonna set up the tailwind now. Unless the Mimikyu's run trick him. Like, dude, this guy's rolling so many Pokemon that can roll trick him. The Dust Class, the Hatterene, the Mimikyu. Like, do I even roll Tailwind? I say I just take off the, the what's it called? I say I fish find in the Hatterene, take off the sag, or not the sash, the disguise of the Mimikyu. Hmm. <laughs> There's so much thinking about when you roll three different Trick Room Pokemons and those are the last Pokemon left. We're doing that. We're done with it. We're done. Come on. <laughs> I love the Rotom cameras that actually fly around, like you see them. Hopefully we can, I can point one out a little bit. I just saw one in the corner. Where are you at? Where are the Rotom cameras? Where are the Rotom cameras? Room Blast is going to take off the disguise. Boop, 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 boop. But I don't want to roll the uh, Tailwind, just in case he rolls the Trick Room. Let's see what happens here. Disguise, little bloop. <laughs> uh, who's going first? Play Ruff's coming out. Ooh, 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 ah! Draco Fish, my boy! Gonna get a Fisher's Vend off before he goes down to the sand stream. Let me get the Glaceon up in here once again. Yeet. Dude, he's too good. He's too good. <laughs> he is way too good. Hattery might go down to the sand stream. He is way too good. But we're gonna rock out into a uh, the Glaceon here. Oh no, the, it changed. It changed. Okay. Hattery goes down the life orb though. Oh! Oh! My Draco Fisher is going to go down to the sand stream. Oh, that's perfect. That's wonderful for us. We still have Glaceon and Hexorus in the back. And Hexorus. I'm going to Dynamax the Glaceon once again because it's just a beast. We can get the snow going. Take away this flare thing. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the drought. Glaceon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mimikyu's got to go. Mimikyu's got to go. That's their hitter. That's their hitter. He does not have this match if Mimikyu's not here. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Uh, we are choice into the fishes right now. I know my Glaceon is faster than my Draco fish, so we're gonna take out the drought before the fishes run even comes in. That's gonna be chilling. That's gonna be chilling. So the fishes run will not get damage lowered from the drought. Nice, 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 nice. I really do want to see like a poison or a dragon type evolution. I'm surprised. Like I'm 100% surprised they did not add one in this generation. Considering they didn't add one in Sun and Moon, I thought this generation was totally getting a new evolution. But the protect's coming from you. That's chilling. That's chill. The Mimikyu's probably gonna Shadow Sneak. Yep, take out my boy. Bye, Draco Fish. Thanks for coming. Thanks for taking out that T-Tar for us. And that G-Max, or not G-Max, Dynamax Hatterene. <laughs> Two big kills. Hellstorm's gonna come in here. And the Hexus is gonna be nice. He's gonna be, he's, he's the fastest on the field. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Glaceon, stop it. Stop it, Glaceon. Just dumped on that thing. It's gonna be game. Game set match. Two and one with this team. That's dope. That is dope. Bam. Bam. Wind dance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wind dance. You guys think I should never do that again? Just, just, just tell me. You won't hurt my feelings. Just be like, yo, jeans. Let's dial it down with the wind dance. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself, kid. <laughs> Uh, Dragon Claw stab right into the Clopsy Clops. The Hexers has so much coverage. I can't believe he's staying in here. Can't believe he's staying in here. I can't believe he didn't cancel the battle. I mean, he's gonna survive this because that Evo Light is tight, nice. But he's gonna go for a Pain Split. Unless we crit or something. Oh, no crit. So a lot of damage. He's gonna go for a Pain Split. Never mind. Never mind, ladies and gentlemen. 
I think he just wants to lose. The burn does nothing. What, what did you expect to do with the burn? It did nothing. It did nothing. I thought the pain split was coming. He was going to regain some health and then maybe go for a burn. There we go. Claw, Hailstorm, game, set, and match. Come on. You don't, you don't got to do that, buddy. You don't got to do that. You know our Hailstorm's hitting through you and taking you out. You don't got to do that. You don't got to do all that. I would just save your Dust Clops from dying and just run from the battle. Poor Dust Clops. Taking it beating for no reason when he doesn't have to. What a terrible trainer. What a terrible trainer. Letting his dust cops just take a beating like that when he knows he's going to lose. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> but GG, good game to this guy. And we just, we, we did very, really good with this team. I'm hyped for it. Man, Fishy did a phenomenal job building this team. It's so creative with that Glaceon, especially for like a ranked battle team. Like he brought this to the Dallas Regionals and did pretty solid with it. Top 16, all of his socials are in the description below. Definitely go check him out, drop him a follow and all that good stuff. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, it only takes a second of your guys' time to support the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.